But first, I'm going to check in with Eileen O'Connor, who gave us some fascinating new information just about an hour ago on uh, where the investigation is going now. Uh, Eileen, if you want to recap some of that and tell us uh, anything new you've learned, we'd appreciate that. Well, we have learned that uh, some new information about the Bukhari brothers, but let's first start in Germany, in Hamburg. German police tell CNN they have detained a male airport worker and have brought in a woman for questioning in connection with Tuesday's attack. Now, federal law enforcement in the United States was led to this Hamburg connection by way of information that was gleaned from a car seized at Logan Airport. It was a Mitsubishi, and it was rented by Mohammed Atta, who was, uh, and inside that was a flight uh, manual, and an Arabic language manual, the sources say was very helpful. Also sees um, Atta's driving records indicated that he lived here at uh, 10,001 West Atlantic Boulevard in Coral Springs. Uh, we have some video of that apartment. Uh, sources say that all of this information was very helpful. They also interviewed a man named Charles Voss, who housed Atta, and another man, Marwan al -Shehi. Charles Voss says that they attended this, uh, let's hear from him. Uh, they, they arrived over there a you know, year ago, it was in last July. And uh, when they first arrived, uh, they had no place to stay. They just popped in pretty much, uh, as I recall, unannounced. And uh, so we provided them uh, for the benefit of, of the flight school, uh, provided them a place to stay for a few days. So now, Huffman, uh, th now these two men uh, attended uh, a flight school, Huffman Aviation International. The director of that school says that FBI took records from the school on these two and other students. He also says that these two students attended the school from July to November of last year, and that after that flight school, they went to another. This shows great planning, Paula. Law enforcement sources say they believe these two men flew one of the two planes from Logan Airport. Remember, their connection was to that car at Logan Airport. The United or the American flight were the ones that flew out of Logan. They flew into the World Trade Center. Both of these men had pilot licenses that we have obtained copies of. The men carried passports from the United Arab Emirates, but officials in that country deny that they are citizens. Now, in addition, there was information gleaned from a car, a rental car, that was impounded in the Portland, Maine airport. This led police to two other brothers. Adnan Bukhari and Amir Bukhari, and also a neighbor. CNN's Susan Candiotti went inside Adnan Bukhari's house. The FBI documents left inside that house indicated, this is Adnan Bukhari, uh, but the, and they, inside that house, those FBI documents indicated that federal authorities took computer credits, car, records, credit card receipts, and other INS documents. Now, also next door to Mr. Bukhari lived another man that police believe could also have been one of the pilots. One of the things that the FBI said that they took was a rooms-to-go receipt. That actually indicated that Bukhari had, in fact, bought some furniture uh, at Rooms to Go on Tuesday. So it may well be, while law enforcement had thought that he might have been one of the men, Adnan Bukhari, who flew the plane out of uh, Logan, uh, coming in from Portland, they now believe that perhaps he is not and is still at large. They will be seeking him, of course, as a material witness. Uh, they did take that uh, receipt from Rooms to Go, and Susan Scandiotti uh, has been in touch. Apparently, the Rooms to Go salesman and got in touch with her, said he has spoken to the FBI, and, uh, and they indicated that perhaps they are already in touch with Mr. Bukhari. Uh, he said that that uh, furniture was supposed to be sent to the uh, port in Fort Lauderdale for shipment back to Saudi Arabia. Paula? All right, Eileen, uh, I, I know that uh, you were busy working your contacts when I was interviewing Attorney General Ashcroft just about a half hour ago, and I asked him a question about a report in Time magazine this morning uh, confirming the fact that uh, at least four terrorist teams, as, and you, you've indicated this too, had a certified pilot with them, and that some of these pilots had flown for an airline in Saudi Arabia. And I asked him if those pilots were trained in the United States and Saudi Arabia, and he, or Saudi Arabia, and he wouldn't answer. That. Explain to us this morning why that is so sensitive. Well, it is sensitive because, of course, they're also in touch with the Saudi government. Now, of course, you know that Osama bin Laden is originally a Saudi national. 
um, they would have to be checking what links there are to Saudi Arabia, but also perhaps to Saudi nationals that might be linked to Osama bin Laden. Now, our records also that we've obtained do indicate uh, that the two men, uh, uh, Adnan and Amir Bukhari, those two brothers that you saw earlier, the pictures of, uh, those two men did indicate uh, that they had a post office box in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and that it was a post office box with Saudi Airlines. They also described themselves to neighbors that we have spoken to as Saudi pilots, and they, we do know that they did receive training here in the United States in Vera Beach at Flight Safety International. FBI have been to Flight Safety International, and they are, of course, looking into them and to others that may have trained there. Also, Paula, they are looking into men connected with uh, these men. They're, they're looking through all of these records. And I am told by a law enforcement source that they are also looking at some other flight schools in Florida. So they believe that there are, of course, other pilots out there that would have flown those uh, two airliners from uh, Dulles and also from Newark. And they may all be connected. Paula? The other piece of information that CNN has gotten uh, that the Attorney General wouldn't comment on is something that you and I talked about in the last hour, which is the possibility that members of each of these hijacking teams may not even have known each other prior to commandeering the jet. I guess part of the motivation for that would be uh, if, if uh, they were to be captured or interrogated, uh, they wouldn't have to betray the whole operation. Any new information on that? Now, my sources are just indicating that they are working increasingly under um, the indication that that is likely the case, that the pilots may well have known each other, the pi then probably there were two pilots may, uh, for each of those flights, may well have known each other, but then they wouldn't have known the other three, and the other three wouldn't necessarily have known the pilots or even each other, but that there right. was some kind of overt signal they all followed. All right, Eileen, thanks so much for that update.